Oh, hello, magpies. I didn't see you come in. I hope you're having a great Christmas. Oh, what's that you say? Christmas isn't until tomorrow? Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, magpies. You see, it turns out the countries other than America exist, and some of them have good enough education systems that we know how time zones work. I know, amazing, right? Maybe instead you should be taking the opportunity to ask me what the future is like. Is the world a better place? Have we all set aside our differences? One second, let me check. Well, uh, the good news is the world hasn't ended. Allegedly. But speaking of desolate wastelands populated by bigotry and ignorance, Christmas in Australia is a little different to how we experience it in other parts of the world. We have our own traditions, our own practices, and our own variations to popular Christmas carols to reflect our unique climate and culture. And one such carol I would like to share with you upon this jolly day. I did not write this song, obviously, it's an Australian tradition, so uh, cut the music. Let us begin. <clears throat> well, the weather outside is frightening, but the fire is also frightening. Everything is frightening. Ah! Thank you. Thank you very much. And Merry Christmas. One and all. Oh, you're still here? Listen, magpies, can I tell you a little secret? Come closer. Closer. Yes, that's it. Closer still. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, listen. The whole off-key singing bit. It was actually a ruse to get people who can't handle cringe to click off the video. You see, the world is cringe. And if you can't stare it right in the face, you're not ready to hear the truth. Cut the music again. Okay, look. I think we're alone. I can speak. Are you ready, magpies, to hear the true meaning of Christmas? Okay, look, they don't want you to know this, so pay attention. I'm only going to say this once. The true meaning of Christmas is presents, but not in the way you think. You see, it's a trap. You feel obligated to buy somebody a present, then they feel obligated to buy you a present, and around and around it goes. Which, you know, presents are great and all, but Christ, it's most of them are going to be absolutely terrible, and they're going to end up in landfill within six months. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can stop. You can just stop buying people presents, and then, let's be real, it's going to hurt their feelings at first, but then, if you keep at it, something magical will happen. You see, they will stop buying you presents. And then, just like that, the spell is broken, the curse is lifted, and you're free! And if we all stop buying presents, we can defeat Christmas together. Oh, but Mr. Vikos, I like having presents, ooh-woo, I hear you say. Well, guess what? You can actually take all the money you saved by not buying trash and buy yourself something that you actually want. You're happier. Everyone is happier. And guess what? By less junk landing up in landfill, we're actually saving the planet. We can all do it together if we just... Wait. Did you hear that? Oh, God. They're here. He's coming down the chimney. Quick, magpies, spread the word. Don't let the message be...